Slot of content I'm providing emanating from the upstate New York area. We back in the 585 with Mr. Pour Up, my nigga. What's yes, going sir. on? What's happening, man? Uh, 585, we live. Yeah, y'all getting busy up there. It's a whole bunch of you niggas, man. What's man going on? It's a lot more, man. You just ain't get to get to see all the other talent, man. man. It's a lot more. I popped up at y'all studio it was probably a couple of weeks ago, and um, it's a whole bunch of you niggas. Y'all shot me up there. Y'all really get it. Y'all taking this shit <laughs> real serious, well, huh? One thing is, it's working, man. We working. We trying to kick that door down. Y'all kick it. Slap <laughs> on, man. They think we farmers up there. We ain't no farmers. I think that's over with. I think the misconceptions are over. I think it's over with. Y'all y'all presence has definitely been felt. Let's talk about, you know, what you got going on. You, you right, off and running. It. You off and running, man. You got this work here and shit. Tell me about I got know, this independent line. My independent line, um, my mixtape, Welcome to Gotti World. I got higher copies. I've been all around, everywhere, state to state, putting them up. Um, I made this for my brother that actually is, uh, he was shot actually today in 2015 and he passed on the 21st of April. And, um, that's when I kind of took music serious. I made my first video and made my first track. I took it serious and from there it's just been, it's been on. I listened to the, um, the video that you sent me. You got, uh... You you take an angle of you know pain bars type shit. Yeah, like, you be writing this. Do you got a a background in poetry or anything like that? You you just chose to go that route based on life experiences. Of life experience, and as a kid, I always kind of like when I I used to write stories. So that kind of came from that. I like the movie so much. So I don't know, man. I was able to always write a story or. or put something together where you can see it, you can picture it. So like, that's kind of what I do with my music and it be off of life experience. Let's talk about this Welcome to Gotti World, man. What, what inspired the um, the title, Gotti World? Tell um, me about Gotti that. Gotti World because on our, in, in Rochester, New York, on the east side, um, we the Lower East Side. And um, my brother name was Gotti. And we got a strip on the Lower East Side where he was very popular himself. Like, I'm the big brother, I got a group of friends or more, and then he was popular himself, and there's a, a whole bunch of them young boys. And so it was like, when you come on our side, especially after you pass, it was so strong, like, I'm welcoming you into our world, how we speak. We speak different than everybody in Rochester. We talk different. Y'all got we your own lingo. We got our own lingo. Tell, like, me, tell me some slick shit like, that's going on in Cody <laughs> World. <laughs> You gotta like, hit me, my nigga. So like, boom, like, we be like, man, pass the tote. That's a black. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Like, man, oh, we could be got, got fly, but we looking real spicy. We feeling spicy, smelling spicy. All right. You might say something slick to a female, be like, boy, you talking real spicy. You know? All oh, right. This, that's a lot of little things. Uh, where your mom and them? I come from my bro Mo that path. And it was like, like, nigga, you moving foul, you moving wrong. Like, you wouldn't talk nothing with your mama now. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what is you doing? <laughs> so, you know, we got our own languages that we spoke and It was like, welcome into our world. So, that's where it came from. No doubt. So, in totality, how long you been doing music? Um, I would say, I would say, um, um, well, I take it seriously since 2015. I played around all of my life. I always rap. I was the freestyle remix king. Anything on the radio, I'm remixing it. Right. Any song, video, any 50 song, I'm remixing it. And he was remixing, so I was remixing other people's tracks. All right. <laughs> so, um, and then I didn't really take it seriously after my brother passed. Okay. It's my like my way of not dumbing up, moving stupid. I met you in the um the environment you know, where I encountered you at when we was in the rock, it, it was all thoroughbreds present, all sharpshooters. Yeah. How man. you get in this type, how do you get in these types of rooms and Just shit? Just me being me. Smooth, cool, I keep it in honey. I don't try to be nobody, I'm not. Right. And I don't take disrespect or give it, so I demand respect and I give respect. Right. How long, you, how long you know Green Double? 
only I really I know I'm green double on and off for a few years. Like my uncle that passed, he kept trying to get us in the studio. He met him doing I think it was like a ten year stretch up. He kept trying to get us in the studio, he kept trying to get us in. We met a few different times, then I met him in the studio. I met him through my boy and me. Um and if I'm not mistaken, I was met him again, I can't remember when. And um when I, when we got with we was coming to check him that day, it was surprising he was there. And he tried to throw me the alley hoop, but I took a phone call and messed me up. <laughs> right, right, right. But I'm looking I I rec I highly recommend y'all put that track together, my nigga. Yeah, For yeah, real. it's gonna happen. Like, he's fire. Yeah, he's he a beast. Oh no, that's where I'm at, okay. Uh, I was downtown for 30 days and we was in reception. I ain't really know him then, but the nigga was rapping and the whole night, everybody up at the bars, he rapping and he started singing and rapping and singing. I'm like, yo, this nigga is fire. <laughs> Had me got the courage, like, I'm about to spit with these niggas. I don't even know none of these niggas. Right. He was going crazy. He had everybody up all night and he didn't even know me then. I was just young. Right. And, and yeah, that's how I learned about Green Dove. Yeah, he one of them dudes, man, you only encounter in jail, for real. Like, I'm serious. He, like, abnormally talented yeah, rapper. Like, you don't beast. run into them type dudes walking down the street. Oh, right. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> he been there, man. He had everybody up, and ain't nobody tell him to stop. Word. So, um, yeah, 2019, man, what's the move? What's, what's man, going I'm on? I'm trying to, my move is to make it, man. I'm just, I've been working. I've been moving. I've been... And everything independently, family, and we. I worked my way into a case. Lay uh, met from there. I met this lady named Chrissy D from Queens, and that just recently doing her show last week. Right. I did a performance. Um, what you did with Case Lay? Shade Four Five. Yes, yeah, Shade Forty Five. Uh, I was the first um, um, act of the year, uh, January second. I met him after doing a performance out in Manhattan. And, I just been working my magic, man. Sweet talking my way everywhere. Right. That's it. Right. N uh, no features. I mean, um, I got features from from people in the town. And no, wait, I do. I got um, I got a hook from Buck, but I gotta put. I'm. It's in the works. I'm putting the songs together. I got a hook from Buck, uh, a two verses from Mano, and a hook from Vado that I'm putting. Ah oh, man, you better get to work, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, get to work, man. <laughs> Still the yeah, first man. quarter though, you know what I mean? Um, I'll do that, man. Drop them things summertime. Get it. Lit. I'm working on trying to get them set it up so when it's done, get them vids popping. How did you? Um, how did you muster up? Fit, you had almost fifty thousand followers on man, IG. Man, just all over the place, bro. V, I guess just promoting and rapping and freestyling and. Just constantly promoting. Every time I go down south, I um, promote my stuff. Go to New York, I promote my stuff. So that has been working, bro. So uh, between K Slate, Chrissy D, and myself, we primarily the three outlets. Media that's outlets it. you can do that's did thus far. Oh no, I did. I did. Um, 2016, I did um, Buffalo. Um, I did a college run there, and then I did that radio station. And I did um, um, a performance in Queens at the uh, what is it called Blackthorn Club where I met Dave East before he was popping. I didn't I, I didn't know who he was. Right. He before I performed after him, I won a contest, second place where I had won at uh, um, our recording the Atlantic uh, Records in a half page in Writers Magazine that's in New York and. But I got in some troubles and I couldn't go. I'm independent just like you, my nigga. I respect the fuck out that grind, for real. Boy, Tell us about it. the YouTube channel. Um, and the YouTube channel, you go on there, man. Pour Up is my YouTube channel. You'll find all my videos on there. Me, um, every video I don't drop from 2015 to present. Yeah. Okay. Um, Instagram. Uh, at the real pour up, you will find my music when I'm dropping new stuff. When I'm on there being funny, just being a character, messing with the ladies, or freestyling videos, everything you can think of. I'm on there. I'm promoting. What streaming sites is your music available on? I'm on uh, um, uh, SoundCloud. Oh, I'm on SoundCloud right now. That's it. I'm still working. I'm learning how to do a lot of different stuff. SoundCloud and that piff. Okay.
Hey, drop out. I appreciate your time, my nigga. It's been wonderful. I appreciate you coming down here fucking with me. I'm going to push the rock. You know I got it from here. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Maintaining the dribble. But, yeah, I really appreciate you coming through. Um, this upstate New York movement, um, damn. I don't know what to say, man, to, without sounding like a groupie. It's like y'all just literally just took over the whole... Man, we trying, well, and we got other people that's working, man. Shout out to 38 Etho Green for opening that door. Now I got to make my way. I'm trying to be bigger than them. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. Out the rock, working together, but I'm trying to be big. I'm working to be big. No doubt. I appreciate you, my nigga. Go ahead and drop out. Hey, man, you talking to Pour Up from Rochester, New York, 585. We live, and you tuned in to Gully TV. I don't been through everything but death, nigga, what's next? Took my bro, can't see him in the flesh, got me depressed, but Fat with facing 7 to 10 up in that pen Got caught with that hammer again, right with his friends Damn, as you see them lost with all my brothers uh, I'm moving in the streets without no structure A big gun, no license in the bottle yeah, the automatic cut that's filled with hollows Y'all nigga just don't feel my pain Shh, we'll never be the same We can't pop a bottle now nah. We can't switch no models now nah. Can't go half a mommy crib So the, the fam can live I can't even call you Jack Just to see bro where you at Curse you up by smoking black So riot with the strap To show you how to stretch the pack Even though you mastered that Next year you about saving cash Every bro be on your If you out here tricking with you Just put some in the stash my nightmare became my reality. Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's the one right there, my man. That's the one, damn. That's the one. Go ahead, uh, drop your uh, social media info one more time, my man. Mr. Pour Up in the building, 585. We live. Check me out at the real Pour Up, Rochester, New York. And we rockin' with Gully TV. I'm talking murder, but it's me. But it's me. I'm really living everything you see. What you say? They a love to make a lie out of me. To the day that I expire, I'm a G. I'm a motherfucking G. They would love to make a lie out of Razor. Shoot and catch him out dark with the